Now, musician Pilato has been arrested by police upon arrival. This controversial musician Fumba Chama, popularly known as Pilato in the music circle, has been picked up by Zambia police and immigration officers upon arrival from self-imposed exile in South Africa. Fumba arrived aboard a South African Airways at about 3 in the afternoon, but was quickly picked up by police and immigration officials without any ex explanation. Some officers were heard talking on the background that my instructions which means they are just working on instructions but you are a good guy but you know we are working on instructions now Pilato is behind the song Lungu Anabuera Kunochekera Kuchawama and the current one Koswe Mumpoto which talks about corrupt leaders Koswe Mumpoto is said to have annoyed President Lungu who has vowed to tear him to pieces. Last month, the Lusaka magistrate issued a bench warrant against Pilato for not appearing in court. Zambian ambassador here in South Africa, Emmanuel Mwamba, uh, or rather he's the high commissioner there, uh, joins me uh, from our Pretoria studios. Welcome, Your uh, Highness. Um, well, the last time I spoke to you, you had promised me that uh, Pilato was safe to go home. Well, he was safe, but remember he had an outstanding case uh, dating back to September 2017. So, the musician has been arrested not for uh, the current song which has been making waves since December, but a pending case uh, from 2017, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, Pilato and uh, five other civil society activists were arrested in September uh, for breaching the Public Order Act. And that matter was um, in court. It's Pilato and five others. So total there are six. And um, when Pilato left Zambia for his so-called self-imposed exile in December, he began to skip uh, the court process. And by last month, the magistrate had... Um, grown impatient and a bench warrant was issued against um, uh, 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 him. And since he was outside the jurisdiction of Zambia, uh, an Interpol warrant of arrest was issued against uh, Pilato. Uh, as soon as those processes were done, Pilato announced himself that he will hand over uh, himself to the authorities to face a matter that was in court. And that's exactly what he did. There is no matter of persecution from the state, or it's not a matter of instigating him against his freedom of expression, but simply there has been a court process, uh, 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 a warrant of arrest, a bench warrant was issued, and an Interpol arrest warrant was issued. And Pilato decided to comply, and he complied by uh, going back to Zambia. So how safe is he? I mean, um the, the, the interview that we had with you the last time really uh, created an impression that the man is as safe as the president himself and his rights of freedom of expression are not going to be impeded upon. And right now, I must say, although you're saying that there's a case, it sounds like um, he's just being dealt with on a technicality basis. No, not at all. Uh, uh, he has lodged in an application for bail, and I think the matter is coming up uh, in court next week. He, um, he wishes that he's granted bail and he can be coming from home. And remember, the so-called threats that made him leave Zambia didn't come from government, didn't come from uh, the state or any of its organ or agencies. It didn't even come from the party, but he stated that it came from some youths that... Um, uh, uh, stated that uh, you know they, they're associated with the patriotic front but for government we stated that that's a criminal matter if anyone was threatening his life he should report that if he has any evidence the state will pursue any threats against uh, Pilato. Well President Lungu doesn't have the uh, best of records when it comes to dealing with those who do not talk well of him I mean HH is an example he has uh, gone through uh, all sorts of things. Uh, so I must say it is very suspect what is happening to Pilato. 
Now, not at all. Pilato had an outstanding case from September last year. I need to emphasize he was arrested with five others. They had breached the Public Order Act and they were arraigned before court. They were promptly given bail, uh, but Pilato jumped bail when uh, he left Zambia. Despite all that, he has still lodged in um, uh, an application to have his bail restored. And I think the magistrate will hear the merit of that application. Is Zambia a free country? A democratic state. It's been democratic for the last 53 years. We helped many become independent. We we'll continue to help others develop as we've developed. We we'll continue to build our institutions that we are more democratic. Our institutions are more autonomous, independent, and, 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 and the aspirations of Zambians are met. Bob Mwamba, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it, the Commissioner of Zambia here in South Africa.